us out. Gearing up for the Superdome. Kick off a little after 5.30 local central time. Super Bowl 36. There is so much of Super Bowl lore that is unscripted. Hence, our segue to the host of Unscripted, Chris Connolly, with a man who, as a rock and roll legend, has thrilled us for almost four decades and whose role in organizing the New York City 9-11 concert reminded us what hold music has on all of us. Chris? Thanks, Chris. You know, pregame entertainment at the Super Bowl comes in all shapes and sizes, but certainly no one looms larger in stature than Paul McCartney, who's used to hearing a few cheering fans when he performs. He came out here to do a little sound check for his song Freedom, which he wrote in response to the events of 9-11. It's a tribute to the heroes in America, as he explained when we caught him after sound check. Talking about freedom. Talking about been front and center in honoring America's heroes ever since the events of 9-11. Why did you decide to bring this message and this song to the Super Bowl? Uh, the, basically, they asked me. They asked me to do it, and, uh, you know, I'm very proud to have got the song together and to have done the concert at the Garden. Uh, I would meet people on the street the next day. they say, you know, thanks for what you did for the city. Thanks for what you did for the U.S. I said, I'm very proud to be part of it, you know. Got to stand up and be counted, I think, on a time like this. So uh, it's great. It's very exciting for me to bring it here. People talk about how the Beatles really helped to lift America's mood after President Kennedy's assassination. Do you think music and events like the Super Bowl can work some of the same magic in the wake of the events of 9-11? I think so. You know, it brings people together. Everyone sees everyone sort of... Uh, up, showing their face, doing something positive, instead of kind of, you know, cowering away. I think it's what's needed. It's good. I feel very strongly about uh, freedom. This is the country, you know. This is the uh, place people come to get away from all the oppressive regimes. So I think it's a very valuable thing, so I'm here to support it. You American football fan? Yeah, I am, actually, yeah. <laughs> I used to be a big Steelers fan. Is that right, that, really? Uh, Terry Bradshaw guy, that's you right, heard of him? Right. Yes, I've heard of Terry big Bradshaw. Guy, big, big guy, big guy here, yeah. Big ball guy. I well, could take him. I bet you sure, could, no easy, problem. Down, well, down low. Do you, well, you got to. Yeah, easy, now, man. Now, who do you like in the game? You had a record called Ram. I had a record so I called Ram, Louis. yeah. Well, you know, but I also am from England, and I'm a patriot. Well, there you so go. So what are you going to do? <laughs> you know what? I, I'm not sure. I, I'm going to see when I see the teams. I haven't got a, a pre-game favorite, but uh, Rams look good. Do you think but put, you never know, man. It'd be great if the Patriots came and did it. Do you think putting a great team together is like putting a great band together? You need people who can do different things? I would think so, yeah. Yeah, but harder. <laughs> <laughs> we just don't beat up on each other as much as they do. I guess that's right. Well, it's a beautiful thing. Are you excited? I mean, you obviously got, I'm excited, you got yeah. screamed out a little bit in your youth and yeah. stuff. Will it still be an exciting event to be I out love it, you know, yeah, it's, I love it. It's, uh, as a friend of mine in England says, it gets my adrillion going. <laughs> so I'm waiting for a bit of a adrillion kick in. Now, I love it, you know, big crowds, big event like this. It's exciting. Will you be staying for the game and cheering and you having a good time? Try and stop me. Excellent. It's great to have you with okay, us. Thanks for joining us. Paul McCarty's Bye -bye. at the Super Bowl, Boomer, All right. and you know that can't be bad. <laughs> no, and as far as his pick goes, Chris, obviously, do you want to know a secret? We'll have to wait. Very nice. Look forward to Paul McCartney pregame as part of the festivities. We're back in New Orleans in just a moment. We're working eight days a week. Okay. violate Paul McCartney. Here's what it looked inside the Superdome a short time ago. The rock and roll legend came out and did his final sound check. Playing it all. Kids, he will not be lip syncing. Either that or he put on a good mock show for a future tour date. He sounded wonderful. Did the whole jog out to the arena. We saw his opening montage. It was tremendous. But the big news is, after I gave Paul the okay and said, Paul, you sound really good, especially for your age, he walked over to the Fox cameras and talked to us. Sound check's complete. Paul McCartney will officially be playing right before kickoff tonight. And Paul, what is going on? An American event with an Irish band at halftime, and you up to kickoff. Don't you love it? It's fantastic. I love it. Yeah. Well, you know, we've uh, we've been big supporters of America. A lot of a lot of Americans are Irish. Uh, I've got an Irish background. So, you know, we, we love America. It's, uh, it's a beautiful place. And since 9-11, you know, it's this uh, standing up for freedom. It's the, it's the idea, you know. So I'm very happy to be singing Freedom here. 
I love it. You know, I love singing it to a big crowd like this. I know they're going to be into it. When those buildings were burning, you were stuck on the tarmac and were able to see them fall. Yeah. I mean, is there any way to put that in perspective, what it did to you? Oh, you know, no. In a word, I think it's impossible. You know, I was just as shocked uh, as everyone else. Once we found out what it was, we thought it was an accident, like everyone at first. But, uh, you know, once the whole thing kicked in, it was very shocking. I've got a lot of American relatives, a lot of American friends, and uh, the fact that we were forced then to stay here through that next week, um, in a way, it was a good thing, because, you know, we were able to kind of lend a hand and be supportive and then put the concert together. It was about all we could do, you know, otherwise everyone felt very helpless. So it was good to see the sort of spirit, America get back on its feet. Right. Then we did the concert for the firemen. It was good to see the guys out there, you know. The most spirited uh, benefit concert I've ever seen, is been, especially when the firemen asked uh, Osama Bin Laden to kiss him in a certain area of his body. <laughs> and uh, Billy Crystal was tremendous, as were you. Yeah. But when we talk about fighting for freedom, you have a global perspective. You've done countless world tours. Do you think the world knows how serious we're taking this and how serious they should take this threat? I think so. You know, I think every uh, nation that's a democracy has freedom, you know, and uh, the ones that aren't don't. And I think the ones that do are the advanced nations. I mean, we've got somewhere. You know, in the old days, we didn't have freedom. In Britain, certainly, you know, but now we've got it. People have got the vote, and I think you've got to hold on to it. I think people know that. Mm -hmm. I hope they do, because right. it's the future, isn't it? You'll be si you'll be seeing freedom tonight, and you're so experienced. I'm sure you won't be nervous. The sound check was tremendous. Best of luck tonight. Thank you. Party. Thanks so much for your time. Good. Have a good game. Okay. Okay. Uh, Paul McCartney will sing After America the Beautiful and Before the Star Spangled Banner, and that will be done by Mariah Carey. He is truly pumped up, having a good time, and I think he's moved by this. Back to you, Bri. You had a good time there in New Orleans so far? You know, we've been working a lot, but we're having a good time. You know, the first time you see Bourbon Street, you're not going to really forget it, Brian. You're a witness to that. Yes, that's a good town. Well, that's going to do it for me. Thanks, Brian. Uh, that's going to do it for me. Thanks for being with us over the past two hours. I'm Brian Wilson in New York. Stay tuned for continuing live coverage of the world.